Hello, this is Ishmael ZD and welcome to your fifth Java MySQL tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to preview data from the table to, um, you know, on Eclipse. And um, yeah, in SQL is pretty much um, easy um, to do it. So we can, for example, in this query, it selects everything inside these three columns. Okay, so if you want to be specific, like if you want to preview on pre preview only for for instance the surname, you go select surname from members. Okay, and it gives us the surnames. Okay, and we're going to do this in Java. And yeah, I'm just going to drop into Eclipse. Um, what um, I left off um, the last story was deleting data. So I'm going to change the query and obviously change the way I'm doing things. Okay, so remove that. Okay, and what we want to do is write down the exact query that we wrote in SQL. So we go select. Let's say select all. We want to pre preview all of them. Select from members. Okay. And what we need to do is use a result set. A result set is an interface. Um, it basically uh, in in Java it's an interface. Um, it basically preview um, has all the contents of the table, so it has information about it, such as like um, number of columns, column names, rows, etc. So we're going to use that in order to um, retrieve our data. So what we need to do is create the result set. The result set and we're going to use the SQL one and call this uh, data okay equals and then we're going to link it with the statement so we say execute query and yeah okay so next thing we want to do is loop through each um, each uh, row so to do that we need to do a while loop and we're going to iterate through result set so while data dot next meaning that if it has something in the next row what you want to do is SYSO we want to preview let's say name and is plus data get object okay and you need to call in the exact column name and do it for the others real quick surname the reason why we're using object is because um, everything like for example in strings all um, you know they're like children of the object so if we call it object and you have like an integer it's fine um, yeah <laughs> yeah so that's if that makes sense and data get should have copied and pasted it, I'm too lazy. Um, surname, let me just copy and paste that. And let's go here. And email, okay. So, email, and what we need to do is yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what I'm doing here. And what we don't need is these parameters. And yeah, okay, so we want to run that connection to MySQL. And let's see. Voila, it doesn't look very, very, um, let me say, presentable. Actually, I'm just that I can use the backslash um, T see um, okay let's just do it again column name not found have I put a space in oh I'm uh, amateur mistake. Okay, let's put that back. Alright, I was meant 
to adjust this. All right, okay, so run that. It displays everything in our table. And if we want to change that, we can go um, select name, okay? So, yeah, to do that, we need to obviously remove the ones that we're trying to search for. So we go like that. Let's run that real quick and it gets us all the names okay so if you want to search according to something make sure you um, do not exceed or search for something that's not inside the query okay um, I hope you guys understood this tutorial um, basically we're going to use a result set um, and we're going to execute this query and we're going to use an, uh, a while loop to iterate through um, the entire um, table should say um, you can do this easily by um, if you want to use a J table or something you can easily um, make a 2d array and uh, you know assign it to each of these values um, yeah so yeah that's it for this tutorial and stay tuned guys